Hello everyone watching, my name is John Milkovich. And I'm Matthew Milkovich. We're from Calum, Ontario. We're both shy alumni. I'm at McMaster University in the iBiomed program. And my little brother here is in high school uh, looking to pursue a similar stream. And we're here to show you our do-it-yourself respirator to help fight against the battle of shortages of N95 masks for frontline workers against COVID-19. Our solution is through a unique scuba mask that an Italian doctor was using to fight COVID-19 on the news. The mask provides a water weight, watertight seal not only around your eyes but around your entire face. The only air passage is at the top of the mask that resembles a horn. What we did is we unscrewed the horn and replaced it with a 3D printed T-shaped piece. On each side of the T we attached anesthesia filters that can substitute N95 filters when they are unavailable. In this image is a view of the materials involved in a respirator apparatus. We selected this snorkeling mask because it offered the best seal and protective covering for the face with the best optics and the least amount of fogging when worn for an extended period. Ideally, the mask will be worn when in contact with COVID-19 patients. Appropriate donning and doffing as per other PPE equipment would apply. Attached to the 3D printed T-piece adapter are two examples of readily available anesthesia filters. We designed the adapter to accept two filters as to allow for adequate ventilation. We believe that the mask and adapter can be reprocessed with antiviral sprays and wipes as per hospital safety policy and the filters can be disposed of and replaced with new ones available in most operating rooms. The key to this prototype is a customized 3D printed adapter. We will provide the 3D printing STL file as well as the URL to purchase this exact mask. The beauty of 3D printing is its ability to be adjusted to other models and masks and to make this adapter piece universally available for production. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how we can actually assemble this mask. So you're going to take your T-shaped 3D printed adapter and you're going to attach it to the mask. And it has a locking mechanism, so all you do is push it in and lock. Then you're going to grab your anesthesia filters and you're going to put them on here and then on the other side as well. And that's all it is. In terms of actually fitting the mask, we recommend that you bring it to your employee health um, and get it fitted as you would any N95 mask. Uh, to highlight a couple of things on this specific mask, first you can notice that all the condensation is concentrated only around the mouth and away from the visual field. Um, another thing to note is that the facial shield um, is effective in, pro in protecting all mucous membranes in the face, uh, including the eyes, nose, and mouth. And uh, to qualitatively demonstrate uh, the seal of our mask, will show that as you include the two filters, you can see that the mask actually suctions on itself. So after a short intermission, uh, you can see that my brother, after an hour of wearing the mask, um, has only built up condensation in the mouth area and the entire visual field um, is normal. Uh, so to end off the video, I'd like to, like to give a special shout out to both my parents, Rob Milkovich and Mariana Milkovich, because they're a big help throughout this. My dad's an anesthesiologist and my mom's a nurse, and they were crucial in making this video. I'd also like to make thank our neighbor, Bob Richardson, because uh, he was huge when it came to catting and 3D printing.